Thank you so much for coming here in person. It's so fun to be I'm, here. It's so nice to see you, Pally. It's so nice to see your face, buddy. I, uh, thank you. Uh, I, I, we talked during the quarantine, obviously, and you helped me out with some bits. Uh, uh, you sent me a couple photos from quarantine that I wanted yeah. to show. Mm -hmm. uh, this first one here, I just wanted. Who is this Hold and what exactly is this going on? This is who I am now, Jimmy. Is that the new you? This is the new me. Wow. This is actually a picture of that outfit is uh, from, a, from the, uh, the Tonight Show auntie's bit that we did. Oh, this guy, but I, I love was that. wearing it that day because I was very excited because that is the first car I have ever owned in my life. What? I got my first car during quarantine. Wow. Thank you. Wait, I'm... this is this is made. You never bought a car? Yeah, because I'm a big like subway bus. You are. Bitch. And, <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a septa bitch. I'm a trolley. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, I never used to drive. I always had a license that I never used. And, um, and then during quarantine, when I didn't like this, the subway wasn't open, I just was like, I want to have some agency. And so I was, wanted to go look for cars. And my husband was like, maybe get like a Mini Cooper or like a fun car or like a Jeep or a yeah. BMW. And I was like, no, I know what I want. And it's a white Subaru Forester. And um, I've never even heard of a Subaru so Forester. It's so basic. I'm like, mwah, mwah, mwah. So basic. <laughs> oh my God. And my, it's funny because Alice is 15 now. My older daughter's 15. And wow. she, is she 15? Uh, I think she's looking at that car knowing like that's the car she's going to learn to drive on. And she's like, <laughs> She was really pushing for like a cuter, cooler car, and I was like, "No, I want a car that looks like a medical sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> That's so safe. Oh it looks like Judah Friedlander's freaking sneakers." <laughs> and um, she's like, "But mom, that's such a Karen car." And I was like, I'm, I'm naming her Karen. And now I'm always like, I'm like, should we take Karen to the store? And, and um, no one in the family uh, finds it humorous that I, <laughs> that I named the car. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you take Karen and get out of the city at all during yeah, quarantine? Yeah, we, we did. Um, after about, because we were in the city in the beginning, because I remember I was talking to you in the beginning, and you were like, do you want to come to our house? Like, you were concerned for me that we were just in the apartment for yeah. a couple months. But so, like so many New Yorkers, my kids at a certain point hadn't been outside in six or eight weeks. They were becoming like the ch children in the secret garden. Like, may I have some? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that I, sunlight, Mom? Yeah, I would like to meet the wind. Um, <laughs> and no, so, you can't meet the wind, not today. <laughs> not today. So after like a couple months, we did. We were fortunate enough. We rented a house outside the city, and the first time we got to this place where it had a yard and we could. Um, Go outside. Yeah. I was like, outside in the morning with my coffee without a whole protocol in my own little yard. And the first morning that we were there, I was standing outside and we were looking down at the, you can see the Hudson River from where we are. It's so pretty. And I heard, I'm standing with my coffee and I just hear um, something going, uh, help, help. And it, I was like, is that a help or a, <laughs> or a bird? Because I've been in, a, in my house for two months, right? So I'm like, Person saying help. So I went and got my older daughter, and I was like, "Come out here, come out here." And we're standing outside again, ha like mole people haven't been outside. Yeah. Looking down at the river, and we're, and we're waiting, and like a couple minutes go by, and then we hear it again. It's like, "Help, help!" <laughs> so then I called Jeff out. I'm like, "He's from the country. He grew up in the country. He'll know if this is a bird." Because I'm thinking like, "We're gonna freak out about this," and they're gonna be like, <laughs> I thought hey, you think you a bird weirdos. is help. It's a bird." Yes. So he comes out. We're all standing out there. We hear it again. Yeah. Help. So we called the cops. We're like, what do we do? We call the cops our first day out of the house. We're like, it's totally we're calling the cops at the height of the pandemic. Cop comes, he listens, and of course he's like, whoa, hello. Like he's got a strong voice because yeah. I've just been like, everybody okay? Like, I yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Um, and then we hear it again, help. So the cops take off, um, and then we found out like a couple hours later that it was a guy who. Flipped a kayak in the Hudson. <laughs> Are you and was floating north in the Hudson in just like no oar and just was float and they found him like a mile north. <laughs> what is going? <laughs> Tina, you <laughs> saved a man's life. <laughs> a man's oh life. my gosh! Wait, what? He doesn't know that it was us, but I can't believe that happened. Isn't that to you. crazy? Also, never kayak. Why? Why? <laughs> oh my god! Never kayak. <laughs> never kayak. The Hudson. That's not like a stream. <laughs> A rat toilet. Why are you? Oh my that? god! <laughs> that's but the lesson learned. I lesson. love that of all people that would happen to you. <laughs> day you, one. The day one came out with your coffee and you hear someone <laughs> screaming for help. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is bizarre. You saved crazy. a man's life. 
And this is great. That's it. Uh, well, let's talk about, uh, it's a good segue into soul. <laughs> yes, uh, about it is. the value of life, The right? value of life. Uh, uh, gosh, I loved it. Watched it over the weekend with the kids. Uh, you're phenomenal in this. Oh, thank you. It's so beautiful. It's a really a piece of art. I mean, don't you think, I mean, it's like the, the, you have the, the beauty of the way New York is rendered, which I've never seen in animation. New York rendered so realistically and beautifully. And then also this whole other ethereal world of the great before and the great beyond. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so it's the story of, uh, Soul is the story of a guy named Joe Gardner, who is a middle school band teacher whose real goal is to be a professional jazz musician. And he's kind of like hung up on making this happen for himself. And then something happens to him that I won't give away. And he is kind of, knocked out of his body and his soul goes up to a place called the great before which is where souls come from and um he's trying to he's trying to get back to earth and yeah and he's just gotten his big break he's trying to get back to earth and he meets my character there which is a little uh anxious little soul named 22 22 man uh, um who ha has uh never been convinced to go down into earth and get into a body she's had all these mentors try to explain to her like why it would be great to live on earth and she's like i don't know sounds painful it sounds scary i'm gonna pass like she just wants to skip the whole thing yeah she, she doesn't get earth she doesn't quite she, understand like i didn't yeah. really get it like, but whatever yeah but, so yeah. yeah so they have you know it's sort of a buddy comedy between the two of them and she's trying to she's like you can take my spot like we'll help you get back to earth and yeah. get into your body you it's can phenomenal have it. i don't want to tell anyone what happens in the film because it's just worth watching and it's beautiful the way it uh, unfolds and you get to see it. But do you want to set up this oh, clip? Oh yeah so this clip i think is um so so jamie's character joe is um in the great before with me where all souls get their personality traits and what makes them unique and we i take him to this place called the hall of everything which is a place where uh new souls can try everything on earth every job every hobby every occupy everything yeah. maybe i like music what, maybe i like cooking who knows yeah to like. see what sparks um uh life in them and so this is me taking him around there yeah here we go let's take a look where do you want to start come on Croissants, cakes, bacon could be your spark. Yeah, but um, I don't get it. Uh, just smell it. Can't. Neither can you. What? You're right. I can't smell. We can't. We can't taste either. All that stuff is in your body. No smell. No taste. Or touch. See? Okay, I get it. Moving on. <laughs> Tina Fey, everybody. Soul premieres Christmas Day. On Disney Plus. Uh huh. So on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's so on.